by now, most of us have been exposed on some level to the wisdom of the great master teachers, the living masters. They've taught us about the power, the immense power we possess for making changes to ourselves, for making changes to the world. Eckhart Tolle is a master of presence, of teaching about life purpose. And Tony Robbins is the grandfather. He's a master of teaching about personal development, how to make personal changes. Deepak Chopra, for generations, has been teaching us about how to heal holistically and how to become healthy of mind and body and spirit and the importance of that. And Oprah, of course, for decades, has been distilling the wisdom of the great living masters in teaching us how to use it in our own life to become more of our best self every day. And in spite of all of these gold mines of information, these master teachers and master authors, my patients come to me regularly and say, I've read the books and I love them and they resonate with me and I understand them, but the changes I make, they don't stick. A couple days after I'm done or a couple weeks, I have a really hard time remembering the wisdom that I learned. And I, felt exactly that same way as I was becoming a psychologist until I learned and I actually saw how the cells inside our brain and body change when our self changes. And then the changes become undeniable. Because when your cells change, your experience of life has to change and your behaviors in your life have to change. And the changes, they stick. The wisdom of the world's master teachers has finally become exactly the same as the lessons of the world's master scientists, the best scientists that we have. And so we now have a process you can apply to yourself, to your own life, to make the changes to yourself that you want to make, to achieve the goals that you want to achieve. It turns out that as human beings, we all change in a very similar way. It takes a certain amount of time, and a certain amount of correct practice and a certain amount of repetition before the changes that you have in your imagination become anchored into the cells of your actual brain and body until your self changes. And once that happens, you don't have to remember the wisdom of the masters anymore because you've become the wisdom. You are actually embodying the wisdom in your cells, in yourself, in your life.